Greetings, Father Brad here. After this long, long two weeks of not uh, making a video, here I am. It's September 30, 2021. I am uh, approaching uh, substantially being done with all of my photo scanning, but at this point I'm kind of getting kind of loose ends and I found some photos that I thought would be interesting. Well, I don't know if you'll find them interesting or not. Time will tell. But uh, this is from 1975. And I was a little bowler. And I um, just realized in looking at this picture, these two, I think, are posing for the photographer next door. <laughs> Because they're looking somewhere I don't know where. And then the three of us here were just, uh, you know, trained on the, the photographer in front of us. So um, I was in college at that point, and for a couple of years I, I joined a bowling team, but I think then that, that was the end of my career for bowling, other than for pleasure. Uh, this picture, I do not know where I was or what I was doing, but it's kind of interesting in the sense that I just have no idea who these people are. I don't know where I was, but I noticed as we were pawing through the food, <laughs> I could have used that man's shoulder as an armrest. <laughs> Do you know how people hold up the line because they can't make a decision? I could have just put my arm over and rested it <laughs> on his shoulder. I don't have no idea what this picture is about. So anyway, in that sense, I think it's interesting. This was about 87, 1987. Um, then in 1988, I had a picture of me with kind of big hair that I didn't realize uh, because uh, look at all the hair in the back of my head and I never had seen it because I always look at the front of my face and then here's this side shot that somebody took a picture of me this is at a I belong to a gourmet club and every two months we had a multi-course dinner and so uh, this is at one of those and we're uh, this is I guess coffee time at the end but I just realized how much hair I had back there. Those were the days, as I usually say. And so that's there, found that. And then I just have a little secret to uh, share with you. This is 1992, and I wanted you to see my beard. My hair was kind of auburn, but my beard came in red. Would you believe I wanted you to see this because would you believe that right now I am dyeing my beard kind of a, a light gray and white. It really is red, but I'm dyeing it light. Would you believe that? I don't know. You can let me know. What are the chances that, it, that that's really the case? But anyway, so that's 1992. So, oops, so anyway, the parish is just a hop and concern lately. Whoop, there it goes. So I have a question that I've been thinking about for a while because as you, well, I don't know if you do know, but at one of the masses, I got a new phone. I, I hadn't uh, traded in for a long time and I got a phone now that it's a face recognition thing uh, instead of a, uh, fingerprint and I uh, had it up there and it wasn't going so then I wanted to leave so it could see my face and all this other stuff. Anyway it was all in the recording of my homily for the day and so I kind of fiddled with that too you know much too long as far as just starting in the homily. I've been putting my homilies recorded homilies on the website for quite a while now and I never hear about anybody <laughs> listening to them so I would actually like to know if anybody is taking advantage of that and if, uh, or knowing uh, 
maybe that's just something that never got through for news, but uh, maybe let me know if you are using or taking advantage of that even periodically or you would like to, uh, I will keep uh, uh, recording uh, uh, each time I deliver a homily and then again send it to the website so you can, uh, it's an audio, you can pick up on it. Um, and if not, then uh, as technology keeps advancing, I, I won't become farther and farther behind in front of a lot of people. So um, just to let you know, Religious Ed starts next week, Wednesday, October 6th, for first through fifth grades, with uh, second grade doing sacra sacramental prep for uh, first confession and communion, six through eight, and then nine through 12 for youth ministry, and that will be starting uh, uh, at 5.45 p.m. on Wednesdays and having some social time before we have the communal prayer with everybody gathered together and then off from there into the, the various studies. And that uh, there will be also adult uh, education and I will be leading a a consideration of Mary in Scripture, and that actually that's quite more involved than one would think, because we know that she's not mentioned a lot, but sometimes she's mentioned in other ways, and not using her name Mary. Um, this weekend we're going to start having extraordinary ministers of communion. We we don't have a lot of numbers for that so far, so we're going to start with. Um, host distribution, so uh, an extraordinary minister will be helping distribute hosts. Uh, we need a lot more people as far as cups are concerned. Uh, but So we're gonna, for now, we're going to add uh, people to help on, that's gonna vary per mass because we still don't have a full complement for every mass on that, but where we are able to and people are uh, available, we'll, we'll be having extraordinary ministers. They'll still be coming to one section, and so we'll still be doing, ha having one section come forward at a time. So c communion to the homebound uh, is going much slower than I anticipated, and I know that a lot of people are anxious about that, so I'm, uh, I apologize. Uh, one important new feature is integrating safety environment training for homebound ministers. Uh, our focus for that has been primarily on children, which uh, obviously is uh, necessary, but uh, that environment training has always included the elderly and also anyone who is in a vulnerable position. So people that are going, taking the Eucharist out to uh, people in their homes or uh, if they're living in a, uh, a facility, uh, actually need to have that training, and, and that's, uh, uh, other than we're, we're tweaking a few things on, on all of that in, in regards to the sacredness of taking Christ out of the church uh, to someone, but uh, that uh, safety environment training is also playing a part, so we are still working on that. Uh, and I ask for your patience. Uh, there'll be a little bit of a daily mass change this coming week. Daily mass will be moving a little earlier from 7.15 to 7. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, it'll be at 7 in the morning. The 9 will remain the same on the days that, that I'm celebrating mass. But then also there'll be an evening mass on Mondays added at 5.30. So the early Mass is, is moving a little earlier and then there's an addition of one day of the week and evening Mass, uh, 5.30 on Mondays. Our yearly stewardship program for All Saints is coming up. Uh, that would be the last weekend of October, so just to let you know that that's, uh, that will be uh, working its way into our consciousness uh, sometime soon. Uh, the theme of that is, again, Encounter Christ Cast into the Deep, uh, which I think is quite a beautiful title and, and quite uh, s something that really is inspiring. 
in in regards to um, uh, just making sure we take care of this place with our stewardship because it is a place where we cast into the deep waters with our Savior and so we want to make sure that the parish is is remaining healthy so that's why a, a yearly uh, program for that so we're, we're keeping on top of things as we go along uh, we did have a volunteer for coordinating trunk or treat so we will have that on Sunday October 31st from 5 to 6 30 so you might be thinking about a costume I already have mine uh, all in place um, there are job openings for again a, ma a full-time maintenance person for the church and the school and then also for a, uh, a youth minister uh, and again Father Lillencott is uh, serving in that role uh, in the interim before we can hire somebody for that and don't forget uh, the yearly action auction at the school coming up on Saturday October 16th it's a very very important fundraiser uh, and very important for the school budget so uh, it's always a lot of fun so anyway um, that's coming up as well uh, on any of these things there will be more details in an email burst and also in the bulletin so stay tuned let me give you my blessing the Lord be with you may Almighty God bless you the Father Son and Holy Spirit 